Hey there, my name is Shirlene and I'm going to be talking about Google Autocomplete today. So if you've been wondering how this cure tool generates its cure suggestions, then you will want to watch this video to the very end. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you what is Google Autocomplete, how do we use Google Autocomplete to get cure suggestions, and how you could use it to your advantage. Google Suggest, or what you may know as Google Autocomplete, is part of the main core feature of Google Search. It was first introduced in 2007, and since, it has quickly became a core part of Google Search. In essence, whenever you make a search on Google, a lot of things are going behind the scenes. This sophisticated Google algorithm attempts to find the best search term based on what you are searching for. Suggested keywords will appear under the search box and you'll probably see about 5 to 10 keyword suggestions. And whenever you click on any of the keywords under the Google Auto Fuel list, it will immediately bring you to the search results page. This experience makes it both fast and convenient. Google Autocomplete significantly speeds up the search process and makes your search experience so much better. So, you might be wondering, which comes first, high volume searches or trending topics? Popularity plays a pretty big role in terms of keyword rankings, but Google will often prioritize relevant results over high volume, popular keywords. Google algorithms have a measurement called the freshness layer. Whenever there are queries that shows a sudden spike in a short period of time, they will show in autocomplete. It can happen despite having a relatively low search volume for the search term, depending on its recent virality. For example, if you search the term iPhone a few days before its grand launch, you will see the names of the new models in the Google Autocomplete list. Google will read the related search term as being currently popular and include that in the autocomplete list. Autocomplete predictions are automatically generated by an algorithm without any human involvement. And it is based on a number of objective factors, including how many times a user has searched for this term. The fact that it is fully automated without any human involvement makes Google Autocomplete an excellent source for keyword ideas. Quite often, new keywords that are gaining popularity in Google will appear in the autocomplete list even before appearing in the search terms and list on Google Trends. So, how can you use Google Autocomplete to your full advantage? Autocomplete was created primarily to reduce the time of typing through query predictions. But there are also incredible useful ways that could benefit a marketer. It can be used to source for keyword suggestion, content ideas, learning about users' intent, and other data-driven tasks. Whether you're a marketer, SEO professional, or even a casual user, here are three best ways to make the most out of Google Autocomplete. The first is performing keyword research. Using Google Autocomplete can be a powerful way to find keyword ideas and suggestions. It is a great place to start your early stages of content development and implementation of organic search strategies. Since the Autocomplete function shows list of related keywords based on popularity, it is a great way to start your SEO planning. But most importantly, it can give you valuable quality long-tail keywords. Long-tail keywords are incredibly useful when fulfilling content gaps, but also offer many possibilities in terms of high-value blog posts and educational content within a brand niche. But relying on autocomplete on its own might not be enough as Google limits the number of keyword suggestions given. Keyword tool, on the other hand, pulls out keyword suggestions from Google Autocomplete and Google Ads Keyword Planner. The second thing is about learning search intent of other users. The way Google ranks keywords has changed a great deal. It is no longer solely based on search volume, however, today, the search engine algorithm plays more importance of a user's search intent as opposed to a keyword search volume. Understanding such intent is key to ensuring your goals for your page, 
layout, and messaging to satisfy users' intent for a search query. Due to the way Google autocomplete functions, the feature will show a list of popular and trending keywords that people are searching for. It can help marketers view search volumes, of related keywords, and its variations to compare between different stages of intent. This method might be time-consuming, but it can be an invaluable addition to a quality SEO strategy. The third point, you can learn about online reputation of an individual brand or even a company. When you search for a brand name, company name on Google, you will see all related searches in a drop-down list. It shows the search term that other people are searching for that are related to your query. For example, if you're searching for a restaurant with a bad review, it may show up in the Google Autocomplete drop-down list. It can potentially deter a customer away just because of that, and it would definitely impact on your business. Now, would you pay a visit to a restaurant that has a term red in it? Most likely not. So this shows that Google Autocomplete plays a big role in online reputation. Never ignore it and always ensure that it is managed consistently. There are many ways to offset this negative autocomplete prediction. Some ideas worth exploring is that you can start taking control of the conversations that you create online through social media, your blog posts, or even PR content. The idea here is that you can start creating new content with strong backlinks. Now that you're aware of what you can do with Google Autocomplete functions and features, there may be limitations as Google will show you a limited number of keyword suggestions only. However, with Keyword Tool, we will pull out data from Google Autocomplete and even Google Ads Keyword Planner. We will prepend and append letters and numbers before and after your keywords, providing you thousands of keyword suggestions within one single click. And the best thing about using Cure Tool is that it is absolutely free. You don't need to set up an account. You don't need to key in your credit card details. Using Cure Tool is hassle-free. Now that you know how we get our keywords, I'm pretty sure you're excited to get started with your keyword research process. If you want to know more about Cure 2 Pro, feel free to drop us an email and I'll be able to assist you through the entire process. Oh, here's a tip. Search by using incognito mode or sign up of your Google account. It will give an anonymous, unbiased, autocomplete results. Keyword tool provides you a larger set of keyword suggestions alongside with other important metrics like search volume, keyword competition, and the cost per click. It is absolutely valuable if you're running ad campaigns or even finding out what are the most popular trending keywords that's within your niche and business. Once you have identified higher search volume keywords, you can now use it to create new content ideas that are likely to help you feature on Google SERP. I hope that this has been helpful and it has shed some light on what Google Autocomplete is all about. I wish you all the best and see you soon.